Hello guys, Alvaro here. Today we are going to uh, cover a script I made. It is a very experimental script. So use it at your own risk. You can, of, of course, follow uh, the tutorial I made. I made some fixes to make it a lot faster to, to set up. But I also created a script. Remember this is on the description of this video. Um, well, let's try to clone it. While I am on the Casa Zero 2, it, this should work on any other uh, SVC with Armbian or just uh, any other release from Debian or, or Ubuntu base. So, uh, this only not apply to the Raspberry Pi 4, but for the rest, uh, it should be okay. For all the Mali base uh, single board computers, it should be mostly okay. So let's go to the desktop. Let's clear this. Hit clone. Okay. Uh, let's close everything. So from this, I only need this. So here we have the script. Remember, it's experimental. You can just follow the tutorial. Now, boxer. Thanks. So the script has uh, two main platforms. One, it is uh, box, uh, sorry, RK3588. My capture card it is not doing a great job. Sorry about the quality. But uh, it looks horrible. Doesn't matter. Um, we have two platforms. It is RK3588 running on legacy blockchain linux and the mainline platforms like this one that use uh, pump from mesa drivers and of course mainline linux mainline linux it is the true linux uh, whatever blockchain uh, used it is a very old fork and um, very experimental i don't know it is it is not linux linux uh, lives on the github repo or linux torvald linux torvald so whatever is in there, it is not Linux. So right now it is installing a lot, a lot of uh, 32 bit ARM packages. Because remember, Box86, it is an ARM 32 bit software and needs a 32 bit user base. So libraries, 32 bit libraries. Down the low, I will make another script, much um, a lot easier script to just use uh, Wine64 and Box64, and I will not install Box86. But that is very experimental. I mean, it runs, it launched some programs. I tried Photoshop, for example, and it launched, but it has uh, some, some bugs. And I tried some games, very few launch, but those that launch uh, work very, very nicely. It is a work in progress by the Wine team and Box64 address all the, the things that uh, require to be addressed to, in order to, to run x86 software with just Box64 with just a pure ARM64 system. So you can run, for example, x86 software with Box64 and Wine on Manjaro, let's say. Manjaro doesn't support 32 bit software, and then you need that uh, new feature of Wine and Box64 to be able to run the software. So it's taking too much to download the packages. Don't know why. But at least my uh, internet speed that doesn't. 
300 megabytes shouldn't be so hard to download. So I don't like to make a script to set up multi art systems because that is very complex. I could break your system. So, uh, but I ended ma making one. I would prefer if you just follow the tutorial, but you want a script. This is what I have for, uh, for those who want uh, an easy setup. I have no idea why it is taking so much time. Maybe... Let me check Wi-Fi. Okay, it took very long, but as you know, it is my Wi-Fi. It is not working properly because that was uh, that should be a lot faster to download. I have no idea why it took so much. It will use by Fortnite repos. I will. I have two versions of why the two are stable versions. You can check my tutorial and download the version you want. That is, of course, your choice. But I prefer to set two very stable versions: 7.0 and 8.0. You can download Proton if you want. One thing to be say is that Shinon Wayland, I have done it on Shinon Wayland, is not great at scaling very old games. So if you want to play very old games like the, those that, one, that run at 640 by 480, you probably should uh, use uh, Xorg or Genome or Xorg or, or whatever desktop environment that uh, let Wine to change the resolution. To 640 by 480, for example. I expect that uh, Wine Wayland, so through uh, native Wayland support on Wine, will catalyze a lot of the performance because our GPUs mostly lack of um, 
memory bandwidth and they suffer on XOR. So as you can see, this uh, this process it is taking a lot, but because of my internet speeds, I'm doing great right now. But it should be a lot faster. I only tested the script so far on Genome, so I don't know if the tweaks I did for XFCE work there. For example, I added uh, a shortcut, control plus Q, uh, does close uh, any wine session. Or, for example, if your software hang, you can do control Q and it will kill it, basically. And also I set uh, a wine line chart by default. Here I have some uh, uh, my, my, my script install wine ticks and you can use uh, these components, install those components to improve the compatibility, but it will take uh, like 12 or 50 minutes. And like my internet is not doing so well so I will skip that. Uh, here it will ask you if you want to use uh, the, the OIBAF MESA drivers. This will only appear if you use Ubuntu and of course on a mainland platform. No, I have it already on my system. Uh, this suggests you to, to do it basically. I will not do so. This is my very old copy of Photoshop, CS5 Extended Edition, and you can see Open with Wine Launcher works by default, and it will ask me if I want to use full screen or virtual desktop because of this genome thing that isn't resolved as today, it doesn't have good scaling support, I will use full screen for this app, and I will set to remember this option. Uh, this is on a micro stick card and it runs very slow, so it is expected to take a while to launch uh, Photoshop. The micro SD card right now it is scaled to 24 megabyte per second and sequential reads, so it is very slow. It should run faster because the SPC, this SPC in particular, has the voltage regulator to enhance the, the sequential reads and writes, but I tried it from the device tree and it doesn't work. So it needs more development by Rasa. 
remember this is not a video platform specific this should work on any mainland um, SBC I tested it on the web Pro 4 for example so we are going to preference performance advance let's go let's go let's do a quick test I will choose two colors. This will not look look uh, super beauty, but let's try it. Now we apply some filters. This is GPU accelerated, of course. Uh, where is the, the gallery? Ah, the gallery. So it is quite usable. I like this one. But it is very stable, even without installing anything with wine tricks. It seems to work great. Let's try some texture. And I will try another filter, which is uh, lighting effects. Render like effects. This is okay. So it works great. 1080p editing on Photoshop, no has a zero two, it's nice. In the shipping consumption, it is probably not that high on this uh, on this software. You can see that. The CPU consumption is very low. So we're going to exit. Yes. Ah, no, no. I will press Ctrl Q to check if that works and if that, that kill the application. So, as I said, uh, not this is hacked because I had to hack it to, to make it work properly in wine. No, it is not hacked in any other way. Uh, as I said, if I want to try, if I want to try, uh, for example, this 640 by 480 game, I have to use uh, a virtual desktop because it will it will not escape properly. Uh, no. So uh, another thing, if you are new to to wine, where is your PC drive? It is basically here. Here it is your PC drive, your Windows drive, and if you delete that, delete that folder, you will remove everything you install on wine. Uh, no, not on my external folder, of course, but everything installed inside Wine will be removed and you will, let's say, reset your uh, your Wine configuration. That is, you, if you commit any mistake and Wine doesn't work anymore, you just need to remove the folder. Uh, no, no, let's show you.
Let's counter you. Bye. So that's all for today, guys. I will try to find other solutions on how to get Genome to scale properly to those games. But I think that is all for today. So see you on next video, guys.